days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need in. The closest. Um, so LeBron <laughs> James's uh, son, Junior Bronny, got uh, selected with the 55th pick in the, in the uh, 2024 draft. In the second round, people were crying about nepotism. Oh, my God, this is unfair. I wish I wish my daddy could set me up for life and give me all my dream. Well, my father did a good job. But my goodness, this is what, what you work for, isn't it? This is what you work for. Are you pro this or anti this i don't know man i i'm on the fence i i feel like i think i'm the only person thinking about Bronny and from Bronny's perspective and not from lebron's perspective because i think i'm a lebron fan and i understand people that are just like this is a flex look at how dope this is for his legacy He's making his son part of his legacy. He told us he would be on the same team. He made it happen. He manipulated the draft till he got his son on the team. He's going to, he, you know, on, it, like he, like this is the most powerful thing a brother's ever done in the league. And and I do understand and, res, and respect that. But I, I just, part of me fit, wonders how Bronny will fit in, how he'll adjust to the pressure. Is he really being set up for success? Because it's a, a league where you're still going to have to earn your spot. We were just talking True. here for weeks about how no one wants to see Caitlin Clark skip spots. Like, who's going to respect that? Don't matter how good you are. We see you getting some stuff that you ain't earned in a meritocracy league. Some people going to take offense it, to it. Though? Some people... Is it Some people, Is it? It's WWE. You know, Luke Walton. Did he deserve a spot anywhere? Uh, Sh- who who's the the coach? I mean, I son? I would argue, um, and and I hope the same of LeBron of Bronny. I would argue those guys got in there, baptized in the fire, and they showed us they could play. Bronny, okay. you can't duck. You can't duck it. He gonna have no, to. If can't. he can play, he's gonna show say. us. Here's what I want to say. Um, nepotism is as American as apple pie. If you go to the Cowboys website, the Dallas Cowboys, and you click on. Uh, you click on the the team. You, I mean, the executive team. You click on mm-hmm. executives. Uh, right at the top, Jerry Jones, of course, chief executive owner, and then uh, owner president is Jerry Jones, COO, executive vice president Stephen Jones, his mm-hmm. son, executive vice vice president, chief brand officer Charlotte Jones, his daughter, executive vice president and chief sales and marketing officer Jerry Jones Jr. It's as American as apple pie. When I was at Game Theory, when I was at Game Theory, I wrote, I helped write a ten minute essay on nepotism in the NFL, uh, and it goes all the way down to coaching trees and everything. Like it's That's not is, right. and we didn't say, and we love it. Good job. We were writing it to say like there's a that this is one of the ways they freeze us out of opportunities. Jerry Jones famously said the reason if you want a black on be get your own team, you want some black coaches. Like, to me, I think nepotism can be weaponized in bad ways. I don't find that this is that. I don't think I don't even think it's the same as what Jerry Jones and them do. But at the same time, like, I don't have to root for it just because my favorite player of all time and the greatest player of all time is into it. I'm not rooting against Bronny. I hope he in my heart of hearts. I just hope he is cool with it. He's having a good time. I hope he has a good career and that it doesn't hinder him when it comes to being on that court and proving yourself because he's going to have to do it at some point. No, the rest of the league's not going to go, Oh, you LeBron's son. I guess we won't oh, full court I, press you. I, I don't so, think he so we got to see if he got it. Roger, I don't think he expects that. I think this boy has been under the ether since he was, born. how will we I know? He he's born. never we, said a word. Uh, I would think that he wants this. He almost died. Right, he had a heart, we, we he had a heart assume. infraction. We're, we're that, making those assumptions. No, 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 we're not making him. assumptions. The boy almost died. This, it, you know, it's very easy. Bryce didn't want to play for a while, if you remember. Bryce and they did the whole, you know. Uh, but but here's the thing, and, you, like you talk about him almost dying. To me, that's a better reason to slow down, not speed up. I when I was, it's just how you look at fatherhood. I think this is what I found from my discussions. I look at fatherhood in a way of my dad didn't just give me everything I wanted. And even though he had the money and the time and the power too, he could have gave me a sports car at 16 if he wanted to. And I damn sure would have drove it. I would have, I would have thought it was the best thing in the world for me, but he needed me to earn some things to learn some things. And then you get, you go into it. 
I hope it's the latter for them where where it's not just about the LeBron James story and the narrative and the movie he has in his mind and the production he's going to have one day when the final frame is him and his son stepping on the court together. That's a beautiful story for LeBron James. I'm, this is the start of the Bronny James story. And I, I I hope they didn't just rush the whole process to get him up here and then we find out, oh, he's not good enough to be in the league. And nepotism, when it comes to sports, don't work that way. They don't just go, yeah. well, we'll keep him around Listen. 10 years, even though he's sorry. Listen, and, there and are just, coaches that aren't good enough. There are players that are on and the And they're laughing the stocks. And they're not that. We Jeremy laugh at Lynch. Giannis's Listen, brother. I, I remember Lynn Sanity. And mm-hmm. I sat there and I was like, uh, okay, y'all. But listen, we are we are in an era of WWE. Things don't have to, unfortunately. I would like there to be a. This is not really a meritocracy, if we're being honest. It really isn't. There are people on those. I think. On those I think a lot really of that stuff. That stuff we say, but those people, those those dudes in the league earn those spots, and they they don't just keep you on just because you own. Austin Rivers had to show he could play. He couldn't just be like I'm Doc Rivers' son. Steph Curry better than his daddy. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, is. it's just the buck is so not going to lie. So it's Clay Thompson. Yeah, the buck is not going to lie. And I listen, worry about I, I the mental health. For you. Two words. Draymond Green. And then I'm done. All right. <laughs> we got to go. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. But my heart beats faster. Eyes are looking right at you, right at you. You give me something to believe in, just what I needed. You're the closest.